We're back with another research submarine video, but today we're going to be adding a nuclear reactor in this thing. Let's go ahead and bring this to the workbench and get started. Well, as you guys know, most submarines have nuclear reactors, and just for that, I left an entire area back here to put it at. So what we're going to do is clear all this stuff so we have as much room as we can to build the reactor. So we have as much room as we can to put in the nuclear reactor. And um, we are going to be using the preset nuclear reactor because I could not figure out how to actually build one myself. Literally just did not make any sense, but I'll show you guys the preset one here. Let's go ahead and save this, and let's go to presets right here and this is uh the nuclear reactor the end game uh basically shows you so this is definitely gonna be it should be powerful enough it is if it isn't i'll add some more fuel rods and all that fun stuff but yeah i think we're gonna be using this so let's go ahead get our submarine here and actually um spawn it in so let's go ahead get click load and then we go to presets and then we'll click reactor example and we're basically just gonna shove this all in the submarine here i'm sorry i couldn't um actually build it for you guys today but unfortunately this game makes it like kind of hard to build reactors and there is no actually like pretty decent uh youtube video Videos on how to make it so i am forced to do this kind of so let's go ahead and copy this entire reactor right here and i have no clue where we're gonna put this and oh shoot i forgot there's like piping connections right there okay so we'll have to figure that out now that we got it rotated let's stuff it in this thing and um actually connect some stuff to it so let's bring it down here hopefully it fits oh my gosh it's like really close to not fitting um, okay we'll put it right here okay that's almost a perfect fit it's a little bit big but that's fine um are we gonna be able to walk around it oh i think we have more than enough from here we go we got it centered we have um actually three blocks around it to actually walk around that's really good we have all this stuff here and then what is this there's like a massive did we forget to copy some stuff oh no i think oh we forgot all the fuel rods okay we're gonna reset it there we go now that it's actually in here in the correct position and we actually have all the um fuel rods to it let's paste it in here and merge it to the main body and there we go now we have uh technically a nuclear reactor in this thing but we actually need to connect um all this equipment right here so let's go ahead and do that we're just gonna copy these pumps just like this then we'll go ahead and paste these pumps right here there we go now we have a working uh pumping system to it and then we're gonna have to copy um basically all this stuff over here so let's um actually copy this currently so let's just copy this is it that easy do we just copy all this and then it's done like that i mean that'd be pretty easy if it is but i can guarantee something's gonna go wrong i will right, we'll just copy it like that and is that everything that we got right there okay it supposedly is but uh this might be way too tall and it might hit the ceiling um it definitely is going to as one more block and yeah it's definitely um too uh too big for all of that so what we're gonna do is just paste it right here and copy all of this stuff and we'll leave the radiators out for now those are definitely way too big that's not gonna fit in here this time so what we'll do is just copy this stuff just like this and i think we got everything there yep i think so and then we'll just move it right in the submarine like this and rise it one block because it's a little bit too short and then these pumps uh will perfectly connect to these are a little bit too high but we'll have it curve and then curve down so that would work out then we'll have um radiators up here of some sort so i think that's fine like this uh we could go ahead and paste it right here just like that and then we're gonna merge it in there and then let's connect these pipes because that is um quite important and uh these pipes might be the wrong way if they are um that might be an issue but we uh will try fixing that so we'll do that like that and there we go and we'll do the same thing to this side right here then we have a piece of um logic equipment right here which we'll just uh, put next to the reactor and we do have to make a computer's room in the submarine still because we have not added any of that yet but that will be on a different video we'll just put it in the reactor for computer's room will probably be somewhere around here and then i think is that all the logic we have um we need this okay we'll put this in here and then there is a dial there which we'll also just grab that because that probably is necessary and then we'll just put it right next to the uh rd logic piece we already had and then we'll paste that there and I, is that everything i think we're we have this dial here um that seems um we'll just put this dial in here we're not gonna actually like copy it all completely because that seems like a bit too much work what we'll do is put a dial right there and connect it to what is that dial connected to on this um nuclear rod thing connected to uh whatever this is right here so fuel rod temperature okay that's cool and then we'll connect that and um is i think that's it um constant on connected to that so we'll just bring our own constant on and connect it to that manually so pretty cool stuff we're just doing some basic logic currently um is that the constant on stuff yep this is all constant on right there and then um we do need to connect radiators to this but for now i don't think we're gonna do that uh, let's just spawn it in and see if it um actually starts which i don't think it's going to actually so let's grab a throttle here and this throttle will um basically control the fuel rods if they go up or down so we'll place that there and minimum will be negative one so it can actually get out of there and then we'll connect this to the track right here and then it plus should be going um a certain way if it okay we'll just spawn it in and see if it actually works 
and it's gonna spawn with some stuff right there. Okay, that's fine. What is that? Oh, that's our radiators, okay. As you can see, um, the reactor definitely added some weight to this thing. It's already leaning towards the back. That's a little concerning. That's fine though. All right, let's go back here, see if this thing can start up. So I think we put it to one. Oh, we need infinite electric, of course. Okay, infinite electric, and we're inserting the fuel rods. Is that working? Um, oh gosh, um, cancel the tsunami. I don't know what's going on. Is this way to insert the fuel rods? Are they inserting? Um, I don't know. There's like water pouring in. Um, wait, why? Why isn't this? Oh, it's not strong enough. Okay, so that's definitely why. Uh, this is on the one to four. We're putting it to one to sixteen. There we go. So this is a stronger gear ratio. And oh, there's a little NPC boat over there. Hello, how are you doing? Um, we're just testing our nuclear reactor. I'd probably get out of here because we're gonna have a meltdown most likely. Okay, we'll put it to one like that. Is that the um release? Okay, that's release. So we'll have to put it negative one, and it will um should insert here slowly. Um, I don't know why it's not working here never mind found out why uh max power was on zero percent i probably should have looked at that when we were um actually spawning it but now um uh it definitely should work if it doesn't i'm gonna be a little concerned but here we go we're inserting the fuel rods they are looks like they're inserting okay that's good going good and here we go they have inserted and uh the temperature is slowly rising okay hopefully we don't have a nuclear meltdown we might actually because there's no um actual radiators cooling this thing off so that might happen but we're currently testing it and see if it's gonna happen Oh gosh, this is a little scary. You guys hear that humming noise? It's, uh, I think it, you guys can on OBS. It's saying it's pretty high right now. You guys hear that? That's a crazy noise. It sounds like metal. That's kind of a scary humming noise. Okay, let's check our temperature. Turn that down. That is a little bit loud. Okay, it's um, not 100. It's rising rapidly. Okay, everything's going to plan here. Um, Our fluid pumps are working. Boiler, steam turbines. Okay, there's nothing going through our steam turbines yet, but our boiler is um, building up in temperature, and then it will build up in pressure here in a bit. But um, there's actually, we might need some of that cooling stuff, but we'll connect that here and probably fit three by three radiators there. Um, Wait, could we put those pipes one block down? We could, so maybe five by fives would work, but we'll have to test that out here in a bit. All right, uh, pressure's still at zero. Okay, that's fine. Um, anything going on over here? Nope, and our generator should start getting power. But instead of a generator right here, we will put a clutch and the clutch will be connected to our propeller right in the back here. And that should work. And we'll also probably connect some clutches and stuff to the generators. We'll have like separate generators probably branching out from the actual um dr drive terrain and stuff. All right, pressure is starting to build. It's had 0.1 pressure. Okay, is anything going on in this one? Oh, it is. Okay, RPS is going through, but RPS on um, B. Oh, okay, it's actually starting. To, okay, so we would be um, moving right now, actually. Um, that's cool. We would be moving right now. That is awesome. Okay, so this is already working. It is as simple as that, guys. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Okay, steam it in, and we're gonna let this run for a little bit. Okay, so now that we know that it works, what we're gonna do is actually add some radiators to it because it would actually um, probably go into a nuclear meltdown state if we didn't do this. So we're gonna go add some radiators here. I think that's what would happen, or the, no, it wouldn't do that. The boilers would explode. It wouldn't, um, but let's go grab some radiators here and see if they would fit five by fives oh my wait i think they would hold on if we put the five by fives like this and they could actually go up one block so if we um copy all of this right here if we copy all of these pipings because i'm not really trying to build them again i think it would actually work we'll do something like that and then we'll lower it one block and that might just do it by itself but we're gonna test it of course and then we need to uh, actually reconnect these piping things here. So that one go will go up and same with that one. So this go up and curve and same with this thing up and curve. And we need to merge it because it's a separate subgrid. And there we go. It's merged. And let's grab some five by five radiators that's just sitting here for some reason. Okay, and um, oh, that the first one's definitely not going to work there. OK, well, we can't do that one. What about the next one here? Can we do the next one? Um, Can we set it? right here um let's test it i think we have to build it one block up okay so that's what we're gonna do here we're gonna grab one block and just line it like that is that too high nope that'll work perfectly okay and then we'll make these blue so it actually looks like it's um cold and i grabbed the wrong radiators oh my gosh and now we got the five by fives pretty serious flip it like that and we have to keep flipping them over and over for the ones we are doing next and there we go we got one right there and we got to keep flipping it for the next one. Oh my gosh I like rotated it now that we got all these radiators here we'll connect it to a constant on just for now um we're actually going to build all the controls in this video i think or at least most of them i might add some off screen but here we go got that done okay radiators are on this should um all really uh start working here and then 
all this is also connected um, besides these ones so we want to actually probably connect those or else water would be spraying out actually it wouldn't because we don't have a fluid nozzle we'll do that like that and like that and there we go i think this should actually work and we're going to spot it in and see if it has a nuclear meltdown which i hope it doesn't but it might happen all right all right uh insert fuel rods negative one and they are inserting like that you can kind of see them right there and they have just inserted okay and then temperature should start rising now and then these radiators should have um fluid going through them and they indeed do all right everything's looking good right now it's at 300 temperature let's go ahead and look inside of this thing and i think these are i'm um, actually glowing red that's how hot they're getting right now but um they actually will start glowing white because that's how hot they are so it, it'll get to like sun temperatures i think and there we go i think the temperature is um, maxing out right here let's see if it can uh, sustain this and actually not completely shut down because it is lowering a bit fast um all right i think it's, um the rps looks like it's dying oh my gosh i don't know what to do with these reactors guys okay now it's going back up okay so that means it's sustainable i think if it's going back up like this but we're gonna have this running here probably for like around five minutes and i will uh get back to you guys and see if anything happens i'm gonna all right went a little bit over uh it's been exactly seven minutes so here we go um it's it's all looking good i think uh generators still running seven rp yeah this thing's doing good all right let's go ahead and add some stuff to this so we're gonna delete this generator here and um should we add like actual um here let, let's type in like some seam stuff and there's like some rotary um stuff um steam piston small so this will actually like rotate hold on we need to i think we need to extend it here so let's grab some pipes like this and we have it straight let's grab uh, some seam things like we just had and these actually rotate so what we're gonna do is line this straight down because we need as much room as possible to like line these down here i'll show you in a second once i'm done building this you will probably understand because you're probably confused right now and i am too a little bit but we'll figure it out all right we'll do that and then we will line it like um we'll have it curve wait which way is it like that okay there we go and then we have a medium piston then we'll have rps connect to the bottom one just like that and then i think we could actually probably delete this um wait never mind we can't do that because we have to have like steam in and steam out never mind we're not doing that okay i, I kind of thought it was something different for a second but that's fine anyways let's grab our um straight pipe here and then we'll make it go up and we're gonna try leading it straight to our propeller um i don't know where the propeller is even at let's probably figure that out right now this, oh my gosh it's right there so line okay so never mind we're not gonna have it even go down we're gonna just reset all of this so what we'll do here is just make this go down one block and it'll go flat like oh my gosh flat like that then we'll just line this straight to the propeller from here should work yep perfect and then we need to add like a clutch to this somewhere so we'll have the clutch be like right here and then a clutch a and b so we want that to be a this needs to be a and it is all right perfect and then we'll connect this clutch to where's our helmet i don't know um i think it's up here somewhere connect the clutch to w and s and that should really be it and then we need to do these two so w and s actually wait no um i think we need to do actually up and down as our um clutch so we'll do that probably okay up and down will be connected to our um clutch here we'll probably also have like a button that displays it but all right up and down we'll go to sticky and then we need w and s to be connected to our control fins over there so we'll go ahead and connect those like this and then a and d will be our um rudder control so this will like turn us left and right so that will be these top ones right here and the bottom one and just like that this should technically work but we're gonna spawn it in and test it of course all right let's see um all right looking good in here let's go ahead and uh connect fuel rods and is are they connecting yes they are all right going to plan going to plan so we did forget to like gear this and put gearboxes on here but if it's uh it's definitely going to be slow so we're going to probably have to do that but we're just going to see how fast it goes normally so i'm going to put this clutch all the way to one which it is at one right now and we're going to test our rudder so up this is w and then this is all right yeah these are definitely going the right way okay that's good and then rotations yep that those are also going the right way okay we are moving but um we're going like really slow oh my gosh okay we're, we're going a little bit slow but um um is this the max speed hold on let's go check our rps if, if it's around eight it is the max speed and it is around eight okay so let's go ahead and gear this thing and make it go faster so we're just gonna line all these gearboxes here this might be too much like stress on the engine if i'm gonna be honest but and we'll see in here in a second i guess so let's put all of this here i don't think you can actually like really stall a nuclear engine um i'm guessing you probably can't but we're gonna try doing this and put this all to three to one and uh this definitely should go probably like six times faster but we will see and let's go in here start the reaction again cool cool and then we'll also have to make some uh systems in this video too so all right we're connecting the reactor and i'll see you guys when this thing starts driving actually if i'm gonna be honest i think we're gonna do like all the reactor displays and stuff in a entirely different video because this video is getting a bit long already and we'll probably just do that in a different one it would be much easier and it'd be like a video dedicated to making the displays of multiple different things so we'll probably go ahead and do that here we go our blade is starting to spin we'll 
will it be enough to actually move this thing faster than it was? Um, oh gosh, I don't know. It's not looking too promising. Um, we're going to see though. It's going a bit faster already. That's good. Our propeller is kind of out of the water. I think we do need more weight on this thing. Oh, we're starting to pick up some speed here. Let's go back here and see if um, the RPS is accelerating on this back one right here. Yep, it is still going up. Okay, that's a good sign. Okay. Um, oh gosh. Oh, I think we have this geared way too much if I'm going to be honest because it's at this was actually, I think, the same speed we were going at. Okay, I think it's gear ratio too much. It's putting too much stress. So go ahead and do some of this. So we'll put some of these to nine to five and just do something like that, I guess. And that one right there. Okay, so we're going to test it again. Oh my gosh. Okay, rotors are spinning. Okay, we're picking up some speed a tad bit faster here. Um, Is this going to do it though? Oh gosh, please tell me we're going faster than this. I don't know what to do if it doesn't go faster. We'll definitely have to do some weird stuff here. Okay, we're flowing full throttle. Um, I, I think this is as fast as we're going, guys. Oh no. Um, Yeah, I don't know seven like rps seems like it's gonna be the max i don't know why even like with these gears and without the gears it's just seven rps is the max i don't know why it's doing that okay so now that we have just um one um gearbox here uh it's at 94 rps but um i haven't actually geared it yet and we're not moving at all but i feel like once i click this it's gonna drop back to seven so that's what we're gonna do right now We'll, we'll put it um we'll just tap it up a little bit and see like kind of how good it does this here so tap it up a little bit here we're just gonna go full fully this is me dropping the clutch when it was at around 80 rps and this is how fast it goes um yeah this definitely isn't as fast as i want to be going this is way too slow um yeah it just drops it back down to 8 rps i don't know what's going on here all right so we did some customizations here and we added uh three more turbines uh we added two more tur turbines, so hopefully that works. And then I realized something here. We need to fix the gearbox. Put a three by three here, just like that. And we'll put it facing towards and we'll do a three to one ratio on this. So there we go. This might work. It's probably not going to, I'm guessing, but we are going to see here in a second. Now it's running at about 23 RPS and I would switch it to 70 and hopefully this works. All right, let's go back up here in the helm and hopefully this actually drives like fast. All right, we're going to dump the clutch. Oh, there's like a mini tsunami. We're canceling that. No. Okay, dump the clutch here and will it work? Oh gosh, yeah, it's not looking too good. We're not really going fast at all. You guys need to let me know what I should do to this thing to get it faster. But I mean, it is moving. We're being powered by a nuclear reactor technically. So, I mean, it was kind of a success, but we just need to know how to go faster now. So if you guys uh, know any nuclear um, tips, please let me know in the comments because I have no idea what to do to make this thing go faster. I'll kind of show you guys the setup in here. So what we have, we have three boilers with a gearbox right here with these fans and we got the, wait, no, these, we got three turbines here and then we have the boiler, those, and then we have the condenser, I think that's called right up here. And yeah, that's basically this thing. Um, not a whole lot to it. I don't even know what I'm doing, to be honest. I'm taking all this stuff off of some creations and the preset stuff. But yeah, it's just not um, doing, I guess, the speed we want it to. But if you have any tips, please let me know, of course. That's probably going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Hit that bell. Stay tuned for the next video where we hopefully um, get this thing fixed if you guys have some good tips. But I'll try fixing this thing on my own time. And if I do, you guys will see it tomorrow. But thanks for watching and goodbye.